I believe DefUI is, uh, DefUI is on Bethesda. I don't know. I have to, you, I, you'd have to check, but yeah, DefUI and Val's item sorting. So here's one of our first retextures. Here we have the silver shroud retexture with a little bit of chrome, just a, a little bit of chrome. Just on the lapels, the buttons, and the trimming. Instead of being, you know, black and gray, it's got a bit of chrome. And of course, there's a silver shroud scarf, which I try. I wanted to make it uh, acquirable by the, the quest, but ultimately, yes. that proved to be more tricky than it was worth. So what I did was I made the silver shroud scarf constructible here. Uh, where is it? It's going to show up under shipments, isn't it? Do I not have the constructible recipe for it? There should be a constructible recipe for making the silver shroud scarf. Oh no, it's at the armorsmith workbench. What am I thinking? Because this is expending armorsmith, I don't need to put everything into um, the chemistry bench because we have since this expands armor smith it's just here under scarf silver shroud scarf so I had a bit of a brain fart there I also removed the gloves from a default from that so that you can actually equip your own gloves because it's building on armor smith extended which actually has gloves built in as craftables Uh, Val's item sorting. Here, uh, I could probably pull it up. Give me a second. Val, yep, Val. Let me peel it off. Thank you. This. Val's item sorting. Which you can't see because Fallout 4 has priority. Let me toggle that off. There you go. Val's item sorting. Give a 10 count. Alright, so another thing I did with my mod is I changed Agatha's dress from, oh, actually doesn't look too terribly bad, mind you, but kind of defeats the purpose. Take off the gloves, the silver shroud hat. So I changed Agatha's dress to use Irma's dress as the base instead of just a generic dress. So that's a model swap. Um, Reginald's suit uses Lorenzo's suit as its baseline. So that's another model swap. You know, looking at Agatha's dress, I might have to do, do some retexture style. Well, ultimately, when I'm what I want to do is have every piece of uh, clothing be styleable, style able, be able to change its color. But though, looking at thinking about that, can you? No, wait, wrong button, completely. Mm -hmm. Agatha's dress. Can you imagine a shadowed version of this? That would probably look pretty badass. I have to say, a black version of this. You know, that's not a, thinking about it more and more. It might not be a bad idea to do like a matching with it. Like Agatha's, keep it in red, do a shadowed version of it. Change the default of this to red so it matches Agatha's stylistically. And then have a shadowed version of it which is the, uses the original textures. Which makes it a little bit different than Lorenzo's coat and keeps it stylistically similar to the other one. Might even do like some alternate colors like blue or tan as well. But one thing at a time. I still have to finish off the Minutemen, which we haven't even tested. All right, um, so we've got uh, Piper's jacket as well, which comes with the press cap. And I did these previously. As you can see here, here's the shadowed version. But if we go over to the Armorsmith workbench, we go down to the red leather trench coat. We'll see here it has might need to change those names up a bit. 
So this is restored but shadowed, and this is just restored. This is the regular restored one with all the tatters removed. So let's go through these. So here's the original. Just full of holes and whatnot. Nothing too fancy to talk about. Oh, it's good to hear the mods on Google. Here's the restored version. See all the tatters are gone. Of course, we already looked at the other one, which is the... Yeah. I missed uh, the fact that this is shadowed. See there, no tolls in it. And shadow tattered. And do the same thing with the press cap. Though don't really only has two styles. We have the press cat you're currently seeing, which is the shadow tattered. And of course they always start off as their default colors. But then we have the press cat and the press cap in the original dull red. Uh, let's see. I have a retexture of the a hazmat suit, which I was talking about. I'm trying to do the same thing to the biohazard suit, but I haven't been able to get to work yet. But we have the hazmat suit, which has a transparent helmet. And I'm planning to um, give you styling options on this to change its color as well. There is... a chroming job done to the mechanist suit. I have chromed a mechanist suit. And when, and when I get around to the mechanist suit, I plan to give it the ability to use power armor upgrades. Some, at least. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah, we'll go with the worn fedora and the faded trench coat. So I think this is using the defaults, but there it is, a faded trench coat. This is actually the repaired faded, faded trench coat. It doesn't have all the patches in it, as you can see. So if we go here and we look at the faded trench coat. Yeah, this one actually has the proper naming in it. We have the original style. We'll switch back over to the original style. And where is the worn fedora? using original style, and I have this one I call matching, where I'm basically trying to, I haven't quite mastered this one yet, but what I'm trying to do with the matching style is match the color of the fedora, actually it kind of looks like it depending on the light, to match, it's a lighter color to match with the color of the, oh, is that what it is? It's a, I have two different textures, two different colors going on. The bottom it matches with the fedora pretty well, but the top doesn't. I'll have to look into the textures for that. But see, the idea is for it to match more with the actual coat. And let's see what else. No, wait. We're still looking at the mods on this one, aren't we? So. Um, yeah, let's do this the right way. Worn Fedora, of course, like everything else, has a shadowed version. And if we go up to the faded trench coat, we have, you know, of course, the shadowed version and then the restored version. Yeah, we'll look at the shadow tattered version first. So you can see it's got a, it's got a lot of cuts and whatnot in it. White shirt underneath, just with a little bit of color. 
there might not, because I haven't modified the normal maps on any of these, there might not be much of a noticeable difference when we look at the restored shadowed version. Statistically, they're the same, though. The shadow versions have the exact same stats. Yeah, there really isn't much of a visible difference, because I haven't messed with the normal maps yet. But there's the shadowed trench coat. A quick save. I, I like to quick save frequently. No. Why did I go in here when I want to change into McCready's outfit? I am an idiot. McCready's duster. And that would be McCready's hat, wouldn't it? So, you can see it's already in the shadowed version. But if we go to McCready's, we have original style. This one actually has some pretty distinctive changes on it. Uh, thanks, Griff. Here's the original style. The hat doesn't obviously get have too many tatters on it, so there really isn't variance to it. But here is the original style. You can see the tatters on the tails there other signs of damage all across it. Go to the armor workbench, McCready's duster, original style. We already uh, saw the shadowed one, so we'll just look at restored. I wish a rebel outfit would come as well, but uh, that's really up to the rebel design. So you can see here, it's not all torn up in pieces. It's actually one solid coat tail. see here aren't any real other damages on it. A few scratches and nicks, but everything's the same color as it should be. McCready's Duster. Restored. Restored Shadowed, sure, why not? I may go in and change back his pants color to green. Just so it's the coat that's black. Because this one's pretty much just all black. I haven't really done any specialty to it. Are they randomly changing to black? They are. I'll definitely have to look into the texture and, and clean it up a bit. Now. So we've looked at everything with the exception of the Colonial Duster. Take off McCready's hat. Clothing, Reginald. Did I not add the, the Colonial Duster? Mechanist, hazmat suit, everything's here. It looks like it's supposed to. But I am not seeing the colonial duster in here. Unless I'm just being completely blind. Weird. Do I not just ha do I not add it to my inventory or something? Unknown reference plier. Okay. That's why. I was an idiot and misspelled player. There it is. Colonial duster. So of course there's the original. Press and sporting it in the background behind me. Oh, wait, we almost forgot the red frock coat from uh, good old Hancock. Which I don't have here? Do I not? Did I not? Do I not have the red frock coat? Because we have to test that one as well. Do I not have the red frock coat?